I had a helicopter mother, so that was, I'm very close with my mom today, but she was always on top of me. And I quickly chose the art of baton twirling at the age of 12. And I ended up going to college at the University of Miami. And I was the feature twirler in Miami and quickly got introduced after being very sheltered to a lot of different things in college, you know, from the quaaludes to the other types of things and alcohol. I'm going to fast forward because this is where my story comes into opioids. I ended up seriously hurting my back. I ended up having two spinal surgeries. And quickly, because of the addictive personality and, and the addict and the disease of addiction, and I was given opioids. It didn't matter whether it was Tylenol with codeine, codeine Percocet, Vicodin. I would take it, and I would probably take three or four more of what I was supposed to take. Because I was a physician's wife, you know, instead of getting 50 pills, I got 100. So I basically took them the way I wanted to. COVID-19 and the pandemic have really thrown a wrench into the entire work. It's not the same because, you know, if you're already started to be in isolation mode, it's easy to kind of just put the phone down and not pick that up. No one's really calling you out on it. If you're at a meeting, someone can see you and see if you're if you're struggling or if you need help. Or where were you yesterday? And it's just different. So I could see where people can get lost in that. People are spending a lot more time inside. There is a certain reluctance to call for help. And what we've seen anecdotally are numbers of fatal overdoses going up a little bit. This is a trend, excuse me, that we're looking at extremely carefully. And several of our areas here at the Department of Health, both our Bureau of Emergency Medical Services, which tracks ambulance data, as well as our Prescription Drug Monitoring Program, or the PDMP, are looking at these trends very carefully. The pandemic's really impacting a lot of face-to-face -face of what we've tried to do up until this point. Sometimes it includes the actual naloxone or Narcan being given out. And so this is really turning into a very difficult situation in regard to our disaster declaration about opioids. I can identify with uh, people in recovery, that's why I'm in it, you know, from all walks of life, from different types of addictions, it's, it's always the same thing, you know, it just got worse and spiraled out of control. I know someone personally, he's a, he's a veteran of the army, he, he overdosed. He's from this town of Palmerton. Um, he left a daughter behind. And he had a few years of recovery time. He was doing really well. And um, I don't think it's a coincidence that it happened during this time. You know? Our parking lot is empty. Um, I do feel that there's people who are not seeking services right now who need services. I need to stay connected during these crazy times. They're having meetings in um, like parking lots instead of in the church. Carbon Monroe Pike Drug and Alcohol Commission is the single county authority for Carbon Monroe and Pike counties and with that we work with the Department of Drug and Alcohol programs to help provide funding and access to treatment for uninsured individuals. We also in Carbon and Pike County have functional treatment units where we provide outpatient, intensive outpatient and assessment services. I think our, our, our overdoses are looking at you know probably you know increasing in my opinion as we continue to move forward, people are still becoming more desperate, having more mental health problems and everything gets tied together and people making choices that, that could lead to that behavior. One of the uh, initiatives that one of our sister agencies, the Department of Drug and Alcohol Programs or DDAP has been involved in is their Get Help Now hotline. And it's 1-800-662-HELP. There are always operators there and they have received to date tens of thousands of calls. And thousands of those have been specific to getting directly into recovery. Getting into the pandemic, I couldn't imagine not being sober going through this. So, you know, being a sober mom and a sober wife is, is a gift. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Recovery is possible and treatment works. We want people to know we're there. This is important to us. You are important to us. Thank you.
Recovery starts with a call. Call 1-800-662-HELP or visit battlingopioids.org.